brains behind NASA when NASA, the space race was going. It was America versus Russia. We got to win the space race because... And the brains behind this monumental feat are these black women you really didn't hear about. So now we have their story. Really interesting story too. I mean, this is a time when women really didn't work in that field, let alone black women. It wasn't the most progressive time. That's one of the things this movie deals with. It's like, all right, NASA needs you. You want to help out? Great. That's awesome. Oh, NASA's not saying you're equals. You know, that's great that you want to help. And I got to tip my hat to Taraji P. Henson. She's in that show Empire. I hope I pronounced her first name right. I'm stuck with names. It's a thing with me. She's in that show Empire. This was a great role for her. It's one of those things where I'm like, she's one to look out for. Gonna be in some film after this. She does a great job. Not only for the fact that I just love it when people are that smart. I mean, when NASA's like, we have a problem and we have to solve it in the only way possible. Math. And she's like, I'm the best one at NASA at math. This poor lady's getting overloaded. She's like, all right, I took one step forward is 10 steps back because every day the math changes. One of the main bummers of this movie, it being a true story, is that this lady was so gifted at math that had she lived at a later time, she wouldn't have been so held back and probably would have done a lot more. But that is a hypothetical that I'm doing because it's like, well, someone either lives in the time they're in or they don't live at all. It's not like you can just delay that. Octavia Spencer was great too. What I love about this collection of ladies is that they're all like, we recognize where the times were going and the times they are a change and not for the better for us, so we need to adapt. We need to be very adaptable. And they are, and I love seeing that angle. Kevin Costner was great also, and he doesn't necessarily agree with all the segregation in NASA. He has one great scene where he really shows what he thinks about it, and I thought that was awesome. Because Kevin Costner has really found his... Now, Kevin Costner dropped off the face of the earth at a point, and now he's found his stride in the supporting roles. One thing that didn't always gel with me was the personal lives and the romance element. I mean, you need to see the personal lives. If you don't, they're just workaholics and all you see is the working element of their lives and their careers, and you're like, what were they like? you know, as people. And that is a tough balance in biopics that are based in the career world. It's like, we need to show their personal lives, but how much do we show before it starts bogging the movie down? And all the romance elements in the movie, I felt bogged the movie down because I was more interested in what was happening at work. But again, if you don't see it, people are going to be like, what was her personal life like? And if you don't have her meet a dude in a world where it's based on a true story, and I guess in real life, she met the dude, what do you do? You're just like, no, she never found anybody. We're lying, what can I say? It was just a very informative film and is a testament for what film can do. There are these stories out there in the world that you never heard about, nor would you ever actually hear about. Had someone not written a script about it and then it got greenlit and now it's a movie. Like granted, there are pockets of people at NASA I'm sure know this story. Normal folks like me from the Northwest, I don't. The only way I would ever find out about it is from a movie like this. I'm glad a movie like this exists. In the end, I will say Hidden Figures is an interesting story. It's a fascinating story. The fact that this happened, it really slipped under the radar of you know, most of my age group. I'm glad this movie was made so I can know this story. It's such an important chapter in the entirety of what is the space race and what became the Apollo missions that you just never heard about. I will say Hidden Figures is definitely a good time. No alcohol required. All right guys, so Hidden Figures, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more.